like my new shoes. <laughs> they're all brand new. They're all white. Had to get them because they were all the other ones I had were falling apart. Oh. <laughs> I was going to film over right here, but I see there's somebody over here, over at the park. I don't know why. I don't know what they're doing, but I was going to make an important little video, kind of in response to last week's video that I made. Not the fireworks one, but the, uh, well, the rant. <laughs> the July 4th rant. And look, hey, got my new Shea Carl shirt. What do you think of that, huh? Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> yes, I'm a fan. I'm a, I'm a big fan. So, uh, this is the second, second uh, Shea Tard shirt or Shea Carl brand shirt that I've actually purchased. I actually have another one too that I will be showing you off a little later in another video. Because before the end of the week, I want to do a. I want to do a separate uh, video that's separate to, to this uh, video uh, that's showing some of my t-shirts because not that I've gotten any feedback about it but I you know one thing that you know about me especially oh good now that guy's leaving <laughs> right when I start coming down here that he finally leaves good I can finally vlog the way I want to, like I did last time. But uh, one thing you know about me is I like to collect a lot of shirts and stuff. And I have a, you know, I don't just wear regular t-shirts, you know, with you know various brands or whatever, like some people do. I like to wear. I've noticed it in the past and even now. I like to wear more like you know a mixture of shirts, you know, t-shirts that is. Because I think they're pretty cool, and I think it's you know, it's neat all the designs and stuff that you know, a person can find uh, with, uh, with 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 a T-shirt, and you know, depending on who makes them and whatever and what have you. And so, in one in a separate video, I'm going to show you guys all the cool T-shirts that I have that I haven't, some that I probably haven't worn in a long time, some that might take you back to a better a better time that was, and some that might surprise you. Yeah. But it's hard to say. We'll go this way here first. Because I got a lot to say about last week. And, uh, you know, first of all, I want to, you know, I want to apologize a little bit. Because I think maybe I, I kind of went over, maybe stepped over the line a little bit, you know. But, you know, I wasn't just, I wasn't just uh, ranting to hopefully to get a lot of views or whatever. Or to get a lot of feedback. I mean, that did happen, and I do appreciate everybody that left positive feedback and and uh, even watched the video. And it's kind of, you know, it's kind of sad, you know, that sometimes it takes uh, a rant video or like uh, somebody to be pissed off to get that video to uh, get even looked at by anybody. <laughs> uh, but one thing I just want to say though know, is, that is, is, you know, my intentions were. You know, everything that I said in that video was sincere. I mean, it was exactly how I feel and how I still feel to this day and how I'll probably feel for a long, long time. But what I did, what I failed to mention, I guess, that's kind of my fault for, for failing to mention it, is the fact that, you know, a lot of people think when they watch this video or watch my videos or whatever, they think they automatically know me. Like they know my personality and stuff, and, and that might be true in some respects, but that's only if you've actually watched every single video. I'm not just talking five videos. I'm not just talking ten. If you're a real fan of mine, you'd have watched every single video up to this point. All four, all past 496 videos. I don't care if they're audio videos or or, or video videos. If you're a real fan of mine. You definitely would have watched all the videos and, and gave feedback to all that, and, you know, whether they're good or not, or what have you. But anyway, 
but I got some feedback, you know, so, from some people that, you know, were, were telling me that, you know, I shouldn't just let YouTube get to me, and I should just focus on, like, you know, the, re the real world and everything, and, and that's, that's just the thing right there, uh, the real, the world that I'm living in right now, where I'm, you know, 28 years old, barely making any money, working at a job that really doesn't pay really any bills, but it's a fun job when it wants to be, uh, here and there, it's getting better, but, uh, you know, that is my real world right now, okay, I don't live in upstate New York or, or Oregon or, or, uh, you know, Philadelphia or somewhere where there's a lot of people, and, and I can't just up and go just like that, you know, I have, if I, if I did that, and, and sooner or later that'll probably happen, more sooner than later, but I have to pick the right time. I can't just, I can't just up and leave, just to make my dreams happen, just like that. I gotta have a plan that's gonna take a little bit of time, and I gotta plan it out good, so that it doesn't hurt nobody, it doesn't hurt me, and that it's that that it will happen, that the opportunity will be available for me when I choose to take it. Uh, what else are we gonna say? So I mean, I'm not mad at that you guys, okay, I just wish that more people would understand where I'm coming from, you know, this whole YouTube thing, you know, the reason why I still do it to this day is because I enjoy it, I, I, I still do, honestly, you know, maybe it may not sound like, like that last, in last week's video, but I do enjoy doing this, it's just that I wish that more, that, you know, because, you know, a lot of people say, you know, what's the true key to success when it comes to doing this YouTube thing? Just make videos. You know, the more videos you make, uh, the more chances you have of your stuff getting out there. Well, you know, when it comes to that, you know, I gotta be honest and say, I've done that, okay? I have proven myself time and time again uh, of what type of person I am. Or what type of person I could be if given that golden opportunity. I've done it, you know. I'm, my, my whole thing is I'm just sick of doing it. You know, sick of trying to, to find out a new idea to prove myself, to, to prove to anybody else what type of person I, I want to be on YouTube. You know, if, if you watched all my videos, then you know exactly what type of person I am. I could be a guy that makes good around the town videos. I can be a guy that makes good DVD updates, be the only YouTuber to, to ever do a DVD update from the famous Goonie House. I've yet to see anybody else do that yet, and I'm going to keep a track. Uh, nobody else has done it yet. I like to think that I would inspire that idea, or just any movie location from there, from uh, that uh, perspective. It doesn't have to necessarily be in the Goonie House. Uh, and like... Uh, you know, if you you know if you if you're not into round the town videos and you like interviews, well, I've done that. You know, I've done a bunch of those. You know, whether they're video interviews through Skype, or whether they're audio interviews that only get 30 views or whatever. Uh, and I've I've interviewed some interesting people. You know, I'm proud of that. You know, or if it's like a, a vacation movie vlog, done that. Uh, let's see, uh, get to know a, a YouTuber video, I've done that, I've done a couple Break of the Ice videos, you know, one with Wet Movie 1, and the other with a guy named Kyle Rappaport, you know, I've done that, okay, uh, uh, what else is there, uh, going to a concert type of video, uh, and show and film what the concert's all about, I've done that, uh, uh, Film your job location type of video, where you're working at, or and who you work with. I've done that in a few jobs that I've done. What is left? <laughs> doing a video at, at a park you know, type of video? Well, I'm doing that. I've done a bunch of those. You know, I'm, and now I'm just naming random crap off, off the top of my head. You know. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know. Uh, it just, uh, I know that I could be good at anything, you know, and that's why I look at this like an outlet, and I always will, no matter what, no matter if people like the idea or not, 
this is my life that we're talking about. If you guys, I do YouTube videos for the sake of fun. I don't care if you get noticed or not. You know, oops, I just broke wind. There you go. That's a sound effect for you. I just farted. You know, how many people fart when they're on camera? That's real time for you. <laughs> Uh, we could wrap it up real quick, or we could just make some more videos, I guess. Wrap it up real quick, or make some more videos. <laughs> oh, man. And I know what most of you guys are thinking. You're thinking, Frankie, you're out, you're, you're completely out of your mind. Or I'll do you one better. Frankie, you're completely out of your fucking mind. Yes, I am, because, you know, <laughs> I, I just, you know... I know what I want, and, and I know a lot of you guys know what I'm talking about, but, uh, you know, or if it's like a type of video that's funny that, that uh, you want to see, I got that. There's, I'm sure there's a few, if not more, funny videos that I've done uh, with friends or with uh, family members or whatever uh, <laughs> that's on my channel. There's a lot that I have on my channel. Now, we're getting close to 500 videos. And I've decided to come up with an idea that I've been thinking about that's not going to happen this month because there's a few things this month that I'm going to be, there's a couple other videos that I'm going to be filming here this month uh, for you guys. Some interesting videos. Uh, but next month, I've decided I'm going to go look through the catalog of videos that I've made. Okay, the original videos. Not anything that's copyrighted, not anything that's an uh, audio video, but actual video videos. And, uh, Pick out some of my personal favorites that I have made in the last almost four years that I've been a part of YouTube. And we're going to do a three-part series because I have an unlimited account. You know, how many people can say that? I mean, that's one cool thing that YouTube did offer me was uh, the chance to make longer videos other longer than 15 minutes, which is nice. There's a lot of people that don't have that option, you know. But I'm one of the few that do. So... I'm thankful for that because it lets me be more creative. Uh, what else? Uh, but I'm going to pick a, a few. We're going to do it in three separate parts. Uh, probably three one-hour parts in August. Uh, it's going to be called The Best of the Frankie Slauson Show. And uh, as a way to celebrate four years of being on YouTube. And uh, here's the season five. And, and hopefully we can make another 500 videos. Now, some people... You know, we're asking me, you know, are you really going to leave if, if nothing uh, gets better after season five? Well, that's up to you guys, you know. If you really want me to stay, if you want me to be around and keep doing this, you know, then I won't leave. But if I don't, if my videos start lacking, and, and especially the ones that I try really hard on. Yes, I said the word hard on already. Boy. <laughs> anyway. The ones that I've tried to work hard on uh, are the one, you know, and you'll know which ones they are, you know, because I'm sure there'll be some videos that are, I can already tell you that probably will be completely boring. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. But that's, like I said, that's up to you guys. If you want me to stick around and keep doing this to entertain you guys the best way that I know how, uh, then keep watching my videos, keep commenting, keep leaving, leaving feedback. And I know the people that comment on just about every video, but I'm talking to the ones that, I'm, that are subscribed to me that never that, that may watch the video, but hardly ever leave feedback. I like to hear feedback, you know? You know, it's, I'd rather hear more feedback and have more comments than views, really, to be honest with you. Because it's a good way to start a conversation starter, uh, a good way to interact with the people that... Uh, that are my fans and, and the people that actually like what I do. And eventually maybe we'll have to do like an interactive thing where if I do like a blog TV show or something like that eventually later on or like a Skype show or something, see how many people actually show up for that. How many real fans do I have? You know, I don't think I have that many, but but you guys could be the ones to, to surprise me. So anyway, I appreciate everybody's feedback. Uh, thanks for watching the videos. We're almost at 500, and at least I can say for right now, anyway, while I'm still making videos, that, you know, it's been a hell of a ride so far, and I just hope that maybe the next 500 videos will eventually 
something good will come out of this. You know, because I see a few people that have been doing videos for longer than I have, or even even lesser time, and they're already at the thousand mark, and, and they're making good money doing this and living it up, and that's, you know, I mean, I buy Shea Carl shirts and stuff because I, I'm fully in support of the Shea Tarts. That's, that could be my face by this rainbow here, you know. I don't know how good that would look, but, you know, you know maybe i like to sell a t-shirt or something like that or, you know, sell some merchandise or whatever. So, who knows? But I just hope that that's all worth it, you know, as time moves on because I really want to stick around, but I, I want to make sure that it's worth it, you know, and not, and not just, uh, you know, be, be left in the dust, you know. I feel I have a lot to offer each and every one of you, whether you like me or you don't, whether you work with me or you haven't, or whether, you know, you did work with me at one time and you, you completely hated me now because of decisions that had to be made, you know. I, I bring up the whole Five Awesome Stud thing because, you know, I think I, I've thought about that here and there. <clears throat> For those of you who don't know, a long time ago, back in 2009, or actually late 2008, early 2009, I created a channel based off of all these five awesome groups that we've seen on YouTube. Some that are still around, some that aren't. But it used to be like a five awesome guys, five awesome, uh, yeah, five awesome guys, five awesome girls, five awesome drunks, five awesome knitters. I think there's a five awesome gays too, I believe. But there was a five awesome studs, and that was the name of our channel. And for the whole year of 2009, it was a hell of a good channel. We made over 300 original videos, and the, and, and you think that, you know, the channel would succeed and live on for, for years to come. No, it didn't. And it didn't because of controversy. You know, I had a lot of people that I personally invited to be part of that channel to make it good. And first of all, how many of you guys remember? Show of hands, how many of you guys remember? Uh, or write down below in the comments, how many of you guys actually remember the Five Awesome Sud channel? It was a good channel. It was, I think it was good. I really think it was good. I'm proud to say that I was in charge of, of, uh, of a uh, co-YouTube produced uh, a channel. It was, uh, you know, produced by everybody who was, a, you know, who I picked, a, who was a good YouTuber. Somebody that had a lot of views on their, on their channel, even more than I did. People that were, you know, knew how to edit, you know, people that were but good with uh, marketing as far as, you know, bring, you know, making our channel survive and, you know, and it was fun. You know, we had a good time, but it got controversial, you know, maybe by some of the decisions that I made, but also by some of the decisions that a lot of other people made. And then eventually everybody that was there, especially the ones that created like the, the uh, YouTube, uh, uh, what was that other channel that they made? Uh, the, there was another YouTube channel that was a that was like a uh, was like a sister site to the Five Awesome Sites. The YouTube, the YouTube Changers or something like that, or the YouTube. Oh man, I forget what it was called. There's a, a friend that I know that Chris Delwell that was part of that too. But anyway. You know, they made a few other channels, too, in, in parody of, of this channel. And, pe and people, it got to a point where everybody started to hate on me because they didn't like me as a leader. They thought I was a piss-poor leader. And, and some people still don't talk to me to this day, even though we never made no money doing it. It was all the base of fun. And we, it was something that I thought of because it was a good idea, you know. But I don't know. <laughs> anyway... Hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is more of a positive video than, than last week's. But I'll never forget what I said last week because I still feel the way I still do. But at least I know that I got some people on my side. So, and that feels good. Anyway, we'll see you next time. Frank Sloss Show. Over and out. Bye-bye.